Welcome everybody. This is Virginia Dahl from Virginia's Creative Stamping Corner. Uh, I have been absent for a while, so I'm really thrilled to be back doing my weekly videos on Tuesday night. This is Tuesday, uh, the 13th of June. Okay, but I said we have many things going on at Stamping Up. Uh, first and foremost, we have our new annual catalog that has that began in May and runs through the end of April 2024. And in this catalog, as you can see, <laughs> I have many ideas marked, uh, many things uh, that I would like to either have ideas, get ideas from or purchase <clears throat> still. And then I also have uh, the place marked where we will look at uh, the, the paper, the stamp set that I'm using. It's the, um, let's go ahead and look at that just briefly because I've got a lot of things in here to show you with regard to that. Okay, it is the Fresh as a Daisy Sweet Collection on pages 110 and 111. And I think you can probably see all of those things. I may have to push this around so that you can see everything. It's a photopolymer stamp set with a die set. Uh, it comes in a bundle and you save 10%. When you purchase the bundle, there is designer series paper. There are embellishments as part of this suite. You can buy all of these items together in the suite using just this one number over here, or you could buy these items separately. But if you were going to buy the stamp set, I'd recommend that you buy the stamp set with the dies because that makes all the difference and it will help you cut out the daisies a lot easier than uh, if you have to hand cut them. So anyway, and that 10% savings adds up. All right, so there it is, 110 and 111 in our new annual catalog. I wanted to show you uh, a couple of other things that are going on. So we're gonna go do this really, really quickly. Speaking of designer series paper, we currently have a designer series paper sale going on from the 1st through the 30th of June. Um, you can get 15% off of these designer series papers. Now, on this uh, flyer, I believe you have to use the numbers that are part of the flyer, uh, that are on listed on the flyer, rather than the ones that are in the actual catalog, because this will, this will get you, this number will make sure that you get that 15% discount. There are 13, I believe, 4, 8... 12, yeah, the 13 designer series papers on sale. Some are 12 by 12, some are um, 6 by 6. Make sure that you use my online store at this address here or go to stampinup.com to, to the online store and just put my name in as your demonstrator if you don't already have a demonstrator. And then you can look at designer, you know, pop up uh, the the tab that it has to do with designer series paper and, and look for look for all of that. In addition, there's a starter kit sale going on. Um, you, if you join now, you get even more with your starter kit. You get $155 worth of products for only $99. Okay, so that's real. And you could you get to choose your what you want in your starter kit, all right? And some of the new items that we have coming up, uh, which I will talk about in just a minute, uh, can be part of your starter kit, the online exclusives, which start very shortly. I believe July 6th, they're available for you July 6th, and there is this QR code. You can, you it's not active until July 6th, so that you can see the designer, the papers that are, are the, uh, the new offerings in the online exclusives. Now there are two stamp sets with dies, some designer series paper, some embellishments. Um, and this is just some of what we could order as demonstrators. There's, there are many more things that you will be able to see once you go on to the, go to the online store and, and look at that. So. Um, those are just a couple, and these are, are starting to be some of the seasonal items. Our uh, mini catalog will come out in August, 
um, well, for us, it will be able to pre-order in August. It will be available to you in September. So keeping all of that in mind, that's a lot of information. Um, I want to go ahead and show you some of the designer series paper. Um, and I will mention the colors in just a couple of minutes. There's a whole lot of colors here. This is the designer series paper. This is the Fresh as a Daisy 12 by 12 designer series paper. All right. And again, there are two sides to this paper. So I'll flip it really quickly. The second side is very, um, it's like paint brushed on a wall or whatever or on a canvas. It's solid, a solid color. Here's the second sheet. That is the, one of the new colors. Okay, there we go. Let's see, I think this is directional. Obviously, it's daisies. <clears throat> Some of the new in colors. There we go. Here's this. Again, that might be looking at it carefully. It could be directional. <clears throat> I believe that is a directional piece right there. All right, so that would make better sense. Okay, here's that. Again, using some of the new in colors. This is a very interesting sheet. I don't think we've done one like this um, at all. And you literally can cut these apart and use these as card fronts or parts of a card, your card front. Okay, and then this piece. And all of these are either returning colors or brand new colors. Okay, and so speaking of that, we have <clears throat> the following colors. We have, all right, this is a new color. Azure Afternoon. Isn't that pretty? Okay, Boho Blue. Okay, hold on. Boho Boo. Almost looks a little gray next to that, doesn't it? Uh, bubble Bath. And again, these are brand new colors. Bubble Bath. Okay. And that might look a little purplish, but it is pink. Definitely very a nice light pink. Cajun Craze. Copper Clay. And find that one. Okay, copper clay. <clears throat> okay. Crushed curry, and you'll see that car that color used tonight. That's crushed curry. Early espresso. which is a, a returning color. All right. Let's see, what do we have coming next? Garden green. <clears throat> we will, again, another returning color. Lemon, this is a new color, lemon lolly. Moody mauve is a new color. That's a new in color, actually. Pebbled Path, which is also a new in color. Okay. And let's two more colors here. We have Pretty Peacock. That's a returning color. And Wild Wheat, which is a new in color. So all of these colors are in this designer series paper. So there you go. So that's called Fresh as a Daisy. It's 12 by 12. You get two sheets of each design. Each design, each sheet has two. Uh, it's double sided. You get uh, both sides are our designer series paper. All right. So <clears throat> going back to our card, we this is the card that we're going to do tonight. All right. Can you? I hope you can see, and I think I can show that pretty well, the embossing that was done on this strip. 
Um, this was something I saw on, um, let's see, I feel like I saw this on Pinterest, I'm pretty sure. Okay, that's something totally different. Uh, I wrote it down somewhere, and now I don't have my little sheets here. I'll have to measure and tell you what everything is, so we'll do that. Okay, <clears throat> so, but this is using the dies, and let me show you those dies. All right, here we go. Here are the dies. And you can see I've already cut out quite a few. I wanted to play a little bit with the blue as well, so we'll see that in another card. This is one complete die. All right, the other ones are pieces. There are two pieces here. And this is the, the outer edge, and I'll show you on one of the cards. There's a, this, is, this gives it more texture. This is the outline of the flower. This is the inside of the flower giving it more texture. So you've got a large, a small, or medium, and then kind of a half flower there. This cuts out a series of flowers that are these flowers here. You can cut those out. Oh, that's not exactly, probably about like that. Yeah, it's a cluster of flowers that you'll see a little bit later. <clears throat> and then the greenery there and leaves. There are two pieces that are meant to cut out the centers. And then, of course, a stem. And then we have, <clears throat> and here are some of the leaves that are cut out. The stem, um, uh, let's see, and then, of course, some of the leaves are cut out like this. Okay, but this is what the stamp looks like when you stamp the leaves. <clears throat> and then use the dies to cut it out. Okay, so that's the actual die set. The stamp set, as I said before, is photopolymer. <clears throat> and there it is. If inside, now obviously I've already used some of these. <clears throat> Cheerful daisies, okay? Now, because it is, is um, a clear mount stamps, not clear mount, it's because it's photopolymer, I'm going to be using uh, my paper piercing mat to help with that. But this is the set of embossing folders that I use. This was an online exclusive. I believe it may be back in stock again, but it's a set of three 3D embossing folders. And they all are quite amazing. Um, this is the one that I used. I call it like the crosshatch. I did use that one. <clears throat> and I've used it several times on several different cards to give you kind of a, a nice textured background. This one is polka dots, basically the raised dots. And then this one is a nice like um, flower type, almost a sand dollar, but maybe even almost Christmassy, um, kind of a sand dollar type background there. All right, <clears throat> so that's from the online exclusives, okay? You won't see that in a catalog. All right, so let's look at what we've got going here. Here's our card. Here's the little cluster of flowers that's done in Lemon Lolly. <clears throat> and here is the card again. And on the inside, I didn't show you that. You made my day. Okay, I don't do an awful lot to the inside of the card. Um, like some people layer the inside of their card almost as much as they layer the outside of the card. Uh, but I, I don't normally do that. Sometimes I'll do that. But anyway, and you can see that I use some embellishments there and some Wink of Stella. Okay, so there we go. And I need to go get my Wink of Stella. Okay, I don't use Winkostella very often, <clears throat> but when I do, I really enjoy using it. There's one thing that I am using, and it is a retired item. Uh, in order to get the curved edge right here on my card, I had to use a corner rounder, and, I, and you can use any kind of corner rounder that you happen to have on hand, um, but this is the only one that I happen to have currently, and so I had to pull out my retired uh, piece to do that with on my on my designer series paper. I just thought it would be a nice little uh, elevation to the card to be able to see a little bit more of that lemon lolly on the background there. Okay, so this is what we have. We have our envelope and all of our little pieces. 
<clears throat> All right, so here's our envelope, just a medium basic white envelope. <clears throat> this piece, and I really regret that I don't have my little directions over here, is like one and a quarter, one and a half by five, five and a quarter. So it's just slightly smaller than the card base, okay? Then, of course, we have these dies. And I actually, what I did with this, I don't know if you can see or not, but that is actually several, not just one of the flowers, but I, I glued them together. So <clears throat> we will do that very quickly. Uh, glue those together, and we don't have to do it too thoroughly, but um, there we go. We're not going to need that because I decided. Okay, uh, there we go. And then, I, of course, I went ahead and stamped this, this, the greeting <clears throat> or the sentiment. And then I had this extra piece that I punched out because I wanted to make sure that those leaves were green. All right, here is the designer series paper that I went ahead and corner used my corner rounder on so we wouldn't have to do that because there's a little bit of time taken up here. Here's the lemon lolly layer that goes on the card base. Um, this designer series paper is four by five and a half. Okay. This is okay five and three eighths by four and an eighth. Okay. And then our card base is our usual four and a quarter by 11, scored at five and a half. And this piece that's on the inside here, I'm going to say it's four by five and a quarter. It's five and a quarter by four. Okay. All right. So that's my insert for the inside. So there's a lot of stamping I have to do. So let me pull the stamping pieces out, or well, only one thing of stamping, uh, two things of stamping, but it involves the same stamp. Okay, there's that little cluster stamp that I told you about. I wanted to use the new Lemon Lolly ink. It's a very light. <clears throat> and in order to do that correctly, I'm going to have to use my paper piercing mat. We're going to have two things that we're going to stamp there. Since this is a portrait card or portrait um, orientation, I'm going to go ahead and all right, make sure that my liner or my insert is going in the right direction. Ask me how many times I've had to, to do that. Okay, there we go. Okay, and then I'm going to stamp this little piece here and make sure that my envelope flap is on the top. Okay. Now you could take a pencil if you wanted to or a pen or something and like a like the inside of the to color the inside and I've got the, the light uh, daffodil delight here but it just all kind of blends in right there so I left it you, I, you might want to use the copper clay as an, as an option. Um, I did use crushed curry, so crushed curry could be another color that you might use, but that's that didn't the Daffodil Delight did not show up very well on that. All right, so that's all the stamping that we're going to have to do. So let's put that away. <clears throat> Except, no, it's not all the stamping. I'm going to have to put this back. Sorry, I forgot. It's been a while. <laughs> Forgive me. Okay, so this is the insert again. And we're going to put this up so that you can see it. I need to remember to look at my, my thing. Using the crushed curry ink. And I'm going to try and get this as straight as I possibly can. You made my day. And, all right, I use my grid paper to help me line things up as much as possible. And I'm going to put that right there. And hopefully that's pretty straight. 
Okay, very good. All right, so that's our stamp. Finally, I think we're done. Okay, and then we I said I before I've already gotten the your friendship means everything. So that is part of the the little piece right here that's already been done. This piece that's already been stamped. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Now that's that and that and let's pull this piece over. I'm going to since I don't need my paper piercing mat at the moment. I'm going to take this piece and turn all these over and I am going to glue two of these together. And this, is, this is also going to be popped up with dimensionals. So I have both my regular dimensionals and my mini dimensionals here so that I can use those. And I want to make sure that I have one of these on the right side. There's a right side and a wrong side. And you can feel what the wrong side is. It's the one that's rougher around the edges and rougher on the back. Right, so I'm going to put one down that has the right side. Then I'm going to take my glue, which is getting to the bottom of the of the um, of the, the jar, and just very carefully, very little tiny bits, little, not much, just a little bit this on the flower. All right, I can't see any comments that have come through. Let me check in just a minute. Um, okay, so I'm going to turn this over and I'm going to position it as best I can on top of the one that is on the bottom and just line it up with the glue you have a chance to have a little bit of wiggle room so you can get that on there okay this just gives it a little bit more sturdiness because I did cut this out of the regular basic white uh, and it would be a little flimsy on the front of the card Okay, and I think I stamping with Jamie. Maybe this is an idea that I got when I was watching one of her videos. All right, so we're going to put another one on there. Just a little, just a little bit of glue, not much. Just a little dab here and there. Again, on the wrong side so that you can put it down and you'll have the smooth side up. All right. Okay. And then again, lining it up, and I'm looking at the very bottom, just kind of trying to line that up there and smoosh everything together. And that worked out pretty well there without getting too much glue. And you get you have a little tiny bit of wiggle room. Okay. Now I'm going to take this little piece that I cut off, okay, and add a little bit of glue to that. And I'm going to put that down here. So I just put a little bit of glue in a couple of places, little dots. And you, you can use a fine tip glue pin if you have one. Okay, I've just, I just dotted that in a few little places. And I'm putting this on here. Covering that as best I can. Now some of the white will show through just a little bit. You can't help that. You could go, I guess, if you really were bothered by it, and put it, you know, use a little green, you know, a garden green marker or marker of some sort. Okay. All right. Now I'm going to take my light daffodil delight and I'm going to color in the centers. There is a center piece that you can uh, stamp and cut out if you'd like to. Uh, I chose just to color in the middle of the daisy like that. Okay. Okay. So that piece is done. So I think uh, that's the most complicated part. And I really want to make a difference here so I don't see that white. 
I'm just going to trim off that edge. Okay, that makes me a little happier. Okay. All right, so there's that piece. And now we can start to put our layers together. So I'm going to go ahead and layer this piece on top of the lemon lolly. And again, I put a very thin layer all the way around the edge. Give myself a chance. I'm going to probably take it slightly differently. I, I didn't leave much margin on this on this edge, so I might leave a little bit more margin so that you can see that a little bit better. There we go. I think I like that slightly better. Okay, so you can see a very thin margin here and a thin one along the sides and more of a margin uh, along this edge and that works fine for me. All right, now that piece will be adhered to the front of our card base. But let's give it a second here. Hold on. Let's put this piece on. Again, I just glue this dry straight down. I didn't add anything extra to it. Uh, I will be popping up the flowers. So there you go. So let's get this pretty much built before we do this. And this is the length of the uh, designer series paper. So I'm going to leave that just like that. And leave a little bit of space down here so that you can see that little contrast. OK. OK. And then, yeah, before we get too much more on, let's go ahead and put this on the base of the card. The base, remember, is garden green. This is lemon lolly. That's the layer. It's one of our new colors. It's not an in color. It's a new color. All right. Let's add this here. Okay. Looks pretty good. Whoops. Looking there. So that I can look pretty much all the way around and leave myself a nice border, fairly even. It's not going to be perfect because I'm not perfect and I'm not trying to be. So there you go. No. <laughs> okay, now I'm going to flip this over for just a minute because the next part I'm not going to need to use glue. I'm going to need to use, when I add these two pieces to it, I'm going to need to use my dimensionals. But before I do that, I need to add my insert. And my insert could be either four by five and a quarter or four and an eighth by five and three eighths. That would leave you even less of a border on this. And I'm going to use my snail, because I like to use snail on the insert piece. It's easier to remove if you need to remove it. So I'm just going to do that when you use the snail. Or not snail, I mean stamp and seal. Sorry, it used to be called snail. All right, and I never put anything in the middle because I don't want any lumps or bumps when I'm trying to write. So here we go with this. And again, sideways so I can see all four sides and kind of hover a little bit before I pat it down and make sure I've got at least a fairly even border all the way around. Okay, there's the inside of the card. Front of the card almost finished. Let's put a few pieces of our dimensionals on our greeting. And because of, I love this, this, this combination, it's really, it really is beautiful. Very bright. And I like bright and cheerful. All right, so there's that piece, but we won't put that on until after we put our flowers on. So our flowers, you see I did a pretty good job of putting that together and making that very sturdy. Okay, you can see that how sturdy that is. Okay, and I will use a couple of the big ones and places where I can use big ones. 
Not very many places. Okay, there. Don't want my dimensionals to show through. And then on places where I don't have that luxury, I'll use the little ones. Oops, sorry. I forget that my screen is bigger than my... Okay. And the screen is bigger than my picture right here. Okay. And you can even actually use little bitty ones. I think maybe I'll do that. I save all these tiny little pieces and you might think I'm a little funny about that, but it really helps me make sure that I get some of these thin parts adhered. Like over here with the stems and so forth. Put one right there. Now this came from the little pieces down here in between these half dimensionals. I cut those out and I used them in tiny little places. So I, I don't let any of my dimensionals go to waste. I use every single piece except for the background where the, that the dimensionals are adhered to. Okay, and take that one off. And I think I'll put one more on the side here, a very thin one. And that might seem a little tedious, but I want that lifted up a little bit. Okay, this one as well. Oops, I'm starting to stick to it. Okay, that's the most tedious part, I think, is just getting these dimensionals on there. Okay, now I have all my little bitty pieces of trash over here. <clears throat> okay, and now we don't see any dimensionals, right? So let's put this on here, and I'm going to... Mm, I wish I could do it that way, but I can't. I have to get these green leaves in somehow. Okay try that there and then that leaves me plenty of space right here for my sentiment and not to forget that I went over there to get my wink of Stella so I'm just going to add my wink of Stella which gives it a little glimmer a little glitter in the middle Okay. And these adhesive backed solid gems. All right, there's lemon lolly, boho blue, and copper clay. And then I'm using my take your pick tool to help me with this. And I'm going to use a big one on my sentiment kind of draw the eye to the sentiment and then a medium one and a small one let's see I almost wish I could do them like that there's the medium one and then very small it's so tiny you can barely see it put that out here okay and voila that is our card okay so there we go. That is the card, just like this one. Okay, and let's pull these aside and I'll give you the opportunity to see a couple of other cards that I saw um, on Pinterest and actually one um, that I saw by um, Susan Camfield, which is a design that I've actually seen in a couple of different places. This one is done with the copper clay and the garden, I believe that's garden green, and the boho blue. I just thought that was really interesting. And then on the inside. Okay, and maybe. Okay, so there you go. There's that. There's that one. Oops. Okay, and. 
Then this final one is the one that Susan Campfield did. Uh, and this one is an unusual fold card. Wishing you the brightest birthday. That's using the, um, what color is that? Pretty Peacock. Pretty Peacock. Okay, and, the, and then that actually I believe is like Granny Apple Green. But anyway, this card folds out like this. I hope you can see that with my, so it folds together like that. Okay, and here is, oh, I have two of them, sorry. I have, there is the envelope with that. Okay, so those are the cards that I have using the Cheerful Daisies stamp set and the other items like the Designer Series paper, which is um, Fresh as a Daisy, called Fresh as a Daisy, and the Cheerful Daisy is also the name of the die set um, and then it's called fresh as a daisy the suite is 110 and 111 in the annual catalog all right so that is what i have for you tonight and i hope that you have enjoyed this and have been able to, i'm glad i was able to get back in sorry i was a little rusty but um <laughs> it all came back to me you know, I know it's like riding a bike. You know, you can make one card, you can you can make another. And so anyway, uh, thank you very much for being here. And for those people who are watching the replay, I really do appreciate that. Um, any of these items that you see that you don't have and you would like to purchase, you can go to my online store. Um, this is the address right here. And then if you can't get it through there, go to the stampingup.com website to there to the online store. And these items are um, listed in, you know, throughout the throughout the store. You can you can put in cheerful daisies and it'll take you right to what you need to, to look for. It also will make suggestions for you if you uh, for uh, alternative things that you can use or additional things that you can use as well uh, to make some of these cards. Any questions, um, shoot me a message through Messenger. I'll be glad to, uh, to do that. You can just go through and re-watch this and stop and start if you happen to have this set uh, and want to use some of the same things that I did. I do. Uh, I will put this in the comments and make sure that you are able to uh, see what products I used and the measurements for the cards and so forth. So thank you very much and I appreciate you watching and have a good week and uh, make sure that you take time during the week to do something creative and try to do something creative every day. That would be even better. Take care and I'll see you next week.